The, uh, <laughs> it's worth mentioning, though, that, you know, I mean, we get a lot of email. We focus, as John pointed out, we focus on atheism. We talk about atheism. We talk about religion a lot. Um, but first and foremost, I'm a skeptic. And that's true for all of the hosts and co-hosts of the show, as well as most of the people in the ACA that we associate with. I mean, you're not going to have an atheist group where you don't run across some people who aren't skeptics. But I'm a skeptic first and foremost, which means that, um, you know, if, if the God claims were borne out by evidence, then I would change my mind. This isn't some... Uh, oh, no, 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 that's Dogmatic position, yeah, impossible. Right? The reason that I focus on, on atheism primarily is because, first of all, despite people's claims to the contrary, I think that a proper application of skepticism when viewing religious claims does necessarily lead to atheism. Um, and maybe we'll get some calls about that at some point. Yeah, it's more um, of a conclusion than an assumption. Yeah, right? it's not. there is no assumption to it. It is a result, a direct result of... Examining skepticism. these claims, right. But the, the biggest reason that I focus on, on religion is, first of all, it's, it's an area that where I'm not only, you know, I have slightly more expertise than I do in, say, you know, homeopathy or uh, the anti-vax nonsense, but also it's the biggest thing going. There is no bigger issue than people's core beliefs that they run around with no evidence to support them. We're talking about things that are so divisive on a broad scale that they influence everything about the society we live in, right down to whether or not we're going to be in a war at any given time, uh, whether or not God told somebody we need to go to war. Um, and also because every belief you hold affects potentially every other belief that you hold. It affects how you're going to assess and judge claims. And so, like I've said before, I want to believe as many true things and as few false things as possible. But the people who think that, oh, well, the, there are plenty of skeptics who are also religious. Well, no, there are plenty of skeptical people who are also religious. I don't, I'm not convinced that they have applied the skeptical principles to their religion. I know that when I did, I, I had to, was forced to abandon it. Um, but there are a lot of reasonable, very intelligent, rational, religious people out there right now, and they're not doing anything that is hugely harmful, that, that, uh, of any great significance. And, it, and I think that in most cases, it's because religion isn't as important to their life as they might think, um, that they don't make decisions about their day-to-day -day life based on gods and angels and demons and devils and things. Um, but they still hold beliefs for which they have not they, they, they have not demonstrated sufficient reason to hold those beliefs. And that's dangerous. And if people don't think don't understand why that's dangerous, it's the reason that I do what I do. It's the reason why I don't come on here and do a skeptic show where we talk about homeopathy, which has been debunked to the point that we don't really need to talk about it much other than continue educating people on the information. And there's dowsing and astrology magnet, magnet and magnet healing. therapy, all these power balance <laughs> buffoons. I can't wait for them to be taken down. Um, and all this stuff. I mean, this is, those things are by and large simple. And I think it's I, that's the reason I'm, I'm a member of skeptic, skeptics organizations as well. It's because they're doing important stuff. They're doing they're doing the educating of people on critical thinking and skepticism in areas where they may not immediately run up against a wall, as you would with religion. Mm -hmm. I am happy to run up against that wall and keep poking holes and putting dents into it until eventually the work of both those who are focusing on atheism and those who are focusing on the broader range of skepticism tear that wall to shreds. That's the goal. But, Amen.